Hello and welcome to Sharon Local History. In this video I would like to introduce you to a property on 21 Deborah Sampson Street, right here in Sharon. It is lovely historical home that was recently restored. It was built in 1883, however, some sources say 1876 to 1899, and it was called, it is still called John W. McKenna House. It is on 21 Deborah Samson Street, not far from Men's Pond. Here is a map from 1888 and you can see the property on it. And this is a view of a Deborah Samson Street with the house right on the right side. I believe this was taken around 1890. So you can still see the dirt road. Uh, the next few pictures are from early 1900s. The first one came from a book from 1905. Those are one of the oldest pictures of the Mekana house. And here are pictures from uh, 2012. And you can see that it needed some lift and lots of work. I am very impressed with the builders that they were willing to basically cut the house out but keep the base and work with what they have. I think most of us who ever renovated older home know that whenever you start one project it leads to another one. You um, rip out the floor and you find uh, rotten wood and you have to fix it. I'm not sure how the project went exactly, but from these photos you can see pictures before and after. And I hope you will be as pleased as I am looking at these. And I am very, very impressed with the renovation by the Jolene Corporation. I will tell you more about them later. So the unique thing about this property is that even though it's over 140 years old now, it had only three owners. I believe that right now it is the third owner only. 21 Deborah Sampson Street has got interesting design. So officially it is called Victorian Eclectic with Italiante influences. <laughs> Um, there are many interesting features inside out. Um, this house is a two-story building with a wrapped around porch, which must be incredible on hot summer evenings. Um, it has got dormers as well as bay windows. The roof is a uh, gable style. Um, there is attached one and a half story carriage house or garage. If you would like to learn more about the exact style of the building and its architecture feature, please feel free to pause the video right now and uh, read the uh, detailed description. These photographs are from the current homeowner who loves the property and took pictures in different seasons for your pleasure. No, I really do admire the work that was done and I really respect the Jolene Corporation for taking the time and probably extra resources to refinish the home to its original, to bring the home to its original beauty. Um, now you can watch a few videos to have an idea how the house looks like. When you look at the 19th century maps, you can see that there is just a very little settlement along Ames Street as well as Deborah Sampson Street during the 19th century. The 1876 Sherman map indicates that there was a lot of knife works along the north side of the Ames Street between Quincy and Deborah Sampson Street. Um, by the way, you can watch video about this place. Um, the house at 21 Deborah Sampson Street was built um, 1876 to 1899 and Sharon Water Records indicate that service was turned on in 1899. In 1917, the property is, was the residence of John W. McKenna um, and his wife, Margaret E. McKenna. John worked in the knife factory. 
Mrs. McKenna continued to reside at the address from 1938 to 1951. She shared the property with Mary McCarthy, a housekeeper. In 1951, the property was deeded to William F. Grant, dry cleaner, and his wife, Mary. They continued to occupy the address until 2008. Um, in 2012, the renovation happened and eventually the property was bought. I just wanted to briefly introduce you this house on Debra Sampson Street. Now you know a little bit more about its history. And I also would like to bring attention to the Jolene Corporation and the amazing work they did. Uh, they were also awarded by Sharon Historical Commission. This is Eric the Builder, who is showing a little five-year-old boy or son uh, foundation of the property across the street. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching Sharon Local History.